rotate in place mode, and you'll notice the torque shows opposite colors. I tell it which way to go by the steering wheel position. If I turn it, quarter turn to the right, it'll rotate to the right. If I turn to the left, it'll rotate to the left. So here's a demonstration. This is a zero radius turn to the left. Regen going down this hill. I have the regen set very high amount. Without touching the brake pedal, I'm show that red, that red rear regen torque. About three times the power of the original gas engine displayed there. I turn hard to the right. You'll notice that torque vector is hard on the left. The, uh, the dashboard display that shows uh, the speed in the middle, an outline of the vehicle, kind of like the original Kawasaki um, display had. Um, we have much more detail in here. We show torque vectoring uh, levels in red and green bars inside the wheels when we're actually driving. Uh, the middle bar, the little yellow, yellow, that shows the steering wheel position. There's left and there's right um, turn. Over here shows the state of charge, the battery pack. And here shows the, the position of the, the shifting um, knob. There's neutral, um, high and low, for example. Um, we can actually now graph the, uh, the waveforms of um, um, current, power, and voltage, and, uh, and, and we'll watch the performance directly now. Um, a view of all the data and parameters of the whole vehicle. And the home page is the, is the, the drive page. So here's the, the replacement electric motors, the liquid cool electric motors behind the original Kawasaki's brush guard. To give a perspective of location. The inverters that drive these motors are tucked behind, it's hard to see them. Um, down in there, we'll see the ones in the back. That's another example. So, here's the brains that um, actually runs the whole vehicle, vehicle control unit, and uh, it controls everything through the CAN bus um, interface, um, charger, um, display, um, inverters for driving traction motors, um, and such. And the, it runs the relay farm for all the lights and, and uh, motors and 12 volt system here. So, that's the core of the drive system. Okay, the original gas filler location where we actually do the charging. Um, and uh, the pack we're charging to be right here. We've got the top off so you can see the modules. Just a little, little quickie picture. And right here is the, the charger that's actually mounted on the back of the, the battery pack module. Okay, a little sound demonstration of the Harley sound. These sounds are intended to be only used at low speed. Put it on. And you put it in neutral. Now the second sound. Sounds pretty cool. Our VCU display shows we're in neutral. We get a little bit of revving. Full throttle. Only intended to be used at uh, low speed.